Hello everyone, today's video I'll be showing you how I did the vintage metallic look that I have here on my nails for this week's manicure. The sample um, is uh, this one I, I posted online. This is uh, without top coat, just to give you an idea of how that looks without the top coat. Um, if you're going to actually wear this on your nails, you will need the top coat. I use Reforma Bitter Coffee Gel Paint to paint the design and the frame. I used L'Oreal uh, Don't Hate Me Cuz regular nail polish uh, for the gold base coat. I used uh, this black uh, Wet n Wild to stamp the um, Messy Mansion uh, image on the other nails. And I sponged on the gold metallic onto uh, the nails to give it that uh, metallic look. To mask off I use the hair glue which is liquid latex and I use two different top coats the pink gelac no wipe top coat and my ever-present kiss top gel and I'll let you know a little bit about those in a minute. I also use black acrylic paint to kind of distress the look a little bit and I've used my two small detail brushes here um, this brush here is a zero zero liner brush that I actually cut down to make it a little uh, finer. You'll also need a little bit of a piece of a makeup sponge. So uh, just to save some time I got started with painting the gold background and the black frame. You've all seen me paint the frames before so you don't need to see me do that again and using the fine detail brush uh, we're just going to draw out a design uh, I tend to like flourishes so that's what I chose to do on this you can certainly do any design that you wish you could do flowers you can do um, I kept having people uh, tell me that this reminds them of Game of Thrones which would be a really neat thing to do like maybe do the different sigils for each house you know the wolf and the lion and the fish and all those other ones you could certainly do that if you're really into the series so we'll get started with drawing the flourishes here. Uh, this is going to be the first coat. I will be doing two coats to give it more of a 3D look. You don't have to if you don't want to. And again, this is the Reforma paint. It is a, a thicker gel product. Um, you do want to use thin coats on this. That's why I'm doing two thinner coats as opposed to one really thick coat because it is black it won't um, cure all the way if you use too thick of a coat and the reformer does not uh, cure with a tacky layer so you don't have to remove a tacky layer once you've cured it and it does cure in an LED for uh, 30 seconds so we're just going to get our uh, flourish design on here. I'm going to speed this section up. Now a little bit about those top coats I was telling you. I used the pink gelac, the no wipe on my right hand and I used the um, kiss gel on the other hand and I have noticed my thumb and I'll show you in a minute I knocked it uh, against a door when I was at work and it started to to chip and peel uh, off that gold layer and uh, I in my opinion it is because of the pink gelac uh, uh, no wipe because it is um, what I believe is a hard gel as opposed to a softer soak off type gel I wore this top coat on my last manicure which I did not post and um, just to experiment I did not file on one of my nails and I did notice that um, it was not soaking off so I believe that it is a hard gel and because of that when I knocked it I think it was just because it, it just was so hard that it just basically cracked it so 
Um, while I like the product, it's it's really probably the glossiest um, product that I have. I'm not quite sure uh, that I would continue to use it really, um, it, it, especially in a product like our uh, a project such as this, um, because the nails that I have the other top coat on. I'm not having that issue. I've got a little bit of tip wear, but that's it. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take that gold um, alcohol ink. Now you can use pigments here. You can use a metallic um, acrylic paint. Uh, I just chose to use this because it's it's very thin when it goes on and it won't detract from that 3D look. So taking the makeup sponge, I'm simply going to sponge it on to uh, the entire nail covering that frame. You don't have to get 100% coverage at this point because we are going to distress it a little bit and we'll be coming back and covering that again with some more of the gold. So as you can see here, you get that really cool raised metallic look once you've sponged on the gold. And now you could leave it like this, but um, <clears throat> in my opinion, it looked, uh, and here's the thumb I was telling you about. Um, you can see the rest of the nails, they look fine, but that particular one, because I knocked it, um, it kind of cracked the uh, polish. So what we're going to do here is we're going to distress the background a little bit. So you'll need to take your uh, black acrylic paint, uh, your art brush, and some water. And we're going to basically make this kind of a, as a, a wash. Just a little bit of the black and just keep adding some water to it to thin that out. And we're just going to apply it uh, to the background. Uh, what, I, what I liked was um, letting it settle into those raised areas, especially around the frame, to enhance that kind of 3D look. Um, you can put as little or a lot as you like. Um, I'm not going to distress the sample too much here, but you'll get the idea. On my nails I actually did uh, distress them quite a bit and I, I just think that you know kind of enhances the image. So here I'm just adding more water and just kind of taking it away in spots. Uh, when you add the uh, water to it, it'll kind of settle down into those cracks and crevices, which is a good thing. Um, that actually accentuates the 3D aspect of it. Now don't worry about getting it on top of the raised image. We're going to go back over it um, with the uh, gold ink and again just a, another drop of that and again using our fine detail brush we're just going to come in and highlight the tops of those raised areas with that gold Now again, you could use uh, pigments. If you're going to use pigments, you'll need to be using a, a gel uh, that will allow you to have a sticky layer to put the pigments into. You could also go over that with a chrome polish. I just did not have um, any. I, I really wanted to kind of stick with the gels. I didn't ha have a, a gel chrome polish. Uh, I plan on getting some, but I don't have any now. I kind of worked with what I had on hand. And it's not a bad um, result, I don't think.
All right, now that we've got the frame and uh, everything else um, highlighted with the rest of that gold, we're going to go ahead and top coat it. I would suggest no less than two on this, uh, especially if you do two layers of the gel because uh, the more raised it is, the more likely it will rub against things and it will wear away that gold. So probably two coats to make sure that everything stays put. And I like that even with the top coat you still get the 3D effect with this. We're just going to pop that into the lamp and we'll get set up here to do the the uh, other accent nails here. I'm just going to sponge on the gold and again you don't have to you want to get it covered but you don't have to be 100% at this point. We'll, um, we'll tidy that up after we get the stamp on. And again as always you want to let the inks dry completely. They do dry relatively quickly within a couple of minutes so you don't have to wait too long for that and for the stamp I used a messy mansion uh, plate 44 their beautiful lace image plate I just used a, a simple net uh, design <clears throat> And again, this is Ebony Hates Chris. I just rolled that onto the nail. And at this point, we're just going to take a little bit more of the gold metallic ink and our fine detail brush and we're just going to paint over the excess stamp on the frame. Now I'm not going to distress this nail like I did mine but you can certainly do that just in the interest of time here uh, but again you would just come through with that black acrylic wash and do it just like you did on the other ones if you wanted to do that. And we'll just give this uh, again two coats of uh, top coat to make sure everything stays where it's supposed to be. And we're just going to pop that into the lamp. So there's our cured sample there with our top coat. And you can see the difference if you distress it a little bit more. To me, the, the raised areas uh, pop a little bit more if you kind of dirty up the background a little bit. And there we have our net design along with our metallic look there. I hope you have enjoyed uh, the tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down at the bottom and I will get to you and answer them as soon as I can. I'd also like to thank everyone who's stopped by to visit me on my Facebook page and my blog. I really do appreciate everyone's support. Until next time, I will see you later.